We're at war. In a true sense, we're at war. The people of our country should think of themselves as warriors. Our country has to open. We have to fight that invisible uh, enemy. We will fight together. It's in our DNA. We're ready to fight the virus. 78,000 are dead. I get it. But at the same time, can you get the military mindset with the masses of take on the enemy because we have no choice? It's almost time that we're willing to absorb the risk and get back to work. There'll be more death. It's what forged and founded this country. It is courage and that spirit to put freedom before fear. <laughs> Here we see the push-ups. This is part of the demonstration that they have been doing here. The restaurant was packed for their Mother's Day brunch on Sunday. Protesters wielding some heavy artillery in a subway store. And then I see the disinfectant, where it knocks it out in a minute. All right, at some point soon, the country has got to get back to work. are healthcare warriors, and they are warriors, aren't they? And they're running into death, just like uh, soldiers run into bullets. We want to win the war with, a, with as few, AF, if you look at it, just deaths as possible. 